guys and girls, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, a game of thrones here in the Westerland as House Blackbane. We are picking up with the last episode where we survived the Great Spring Sickness, and we declared war on Sar... what is it? Sarsfield as well. That's not the only thing. Our half-brother, Lord Tywin, the Golden Lannister, declared a disillusion war against the Iron Throne, causing absolute mayhem. We should be able to win this, but first things first, we got our own targets. We will be uh, expanding and winning this battle first. Now, the first thing I have to do is I. This is the second time I've actually had to record this, and it was because it was a pop-up that was completely bugged. I had no options to get around it, and it had something to do with these animals. So I am just going to get rid of them, and hopefully, that will solve the problem for the time being. We'll just see how things go. Uh, the other thing is, we also have to wait. Um, sure, let's raise our full force here. Thank you very much. And we will be leading it ourselves as well. So let's go to decision and agree to become a captain. We are by far the better captain as well. So yes. So we're going to be hanging tight. Not doing too much. Waiting for our allies, the high towers, to rock up. And then from there, we're going to move down here and help capture... Well... If it's not too late, help capture some of this land as well. Okay. And the other thing we are going to do is, because I already know we need to look at doing it, is changing that. That will give us 4 out of 4 as well. So, yes. Okay. So, like I said, I'm not going to attack. Uh, I'm going to wait until they suffer some attrition or our allies rock up. One of the two first. And then we won't be able to help Tywin straight up because there's just rebellions everywhere. These peasant armies, it's... It's a dangerous time to be, the, to tell you the truth, for us uh, nobles. So yes. So like I said, we'll wait. Uh, wait, is that an ally for us or them? Okay, that wasn't for us or them. That was the other army. That's why it was blue. Uh, oh. Okay, I already did call you. I just can't call you in the disillusion war, which is fine. They shouldn't be too far off, I'm hoping. Uh, my wife is pregnant again, which is good. Where the hell are they? Oh, there we are. Very close. Excellent. Now, we're going to move in, and we're going to try and take them out. Uh, I'm a bit disappointed, because the first time around, the battle was... We captured, the cap well, we captured the leader in the first battle. So, hopefully, we can do it again. We might not be able to. Um, yeah, it's like that nice easy and done now that's the only problem about leading a battle uh as well as you got a good chance of being caught we will ask for a hostage which is fine excellent i'm happy with that you gain some legitimacy and i'm happy with that as well no unraised soldier that's okay uh let's move down here and start cap capturing some of these settlements i think excellent see these don't have a lot of um worth but i think you know they're easy targets for us it's gonna take five months like i said i just can't battle anything really larger than what we've got at the moment so that's okay i should okay so i've got no hostages which is fine oh sorry i've got one hostage but no prisoners so is what i meant okay so we did seem to have won a, won a great battle excellent and we do own some land. So hopefully this will help out a little bit. Like I said, not a whole lot. But it should hopefully give us something. Um, you know what? Loyalty and respect, I think, will be quite useful. Oh, yeah. We got literally one stewardship out of all that. Our wife is not very good uh, stat-wise. That's okay. Excellent. Um, no. Uh, wait. Yes. Haha. -ha. Participation, 3.7% we got because we captured that uh, very small barony. Excellent. So this is going to go really well. Okay. So here's our third son. We're probably going to educate him ourselves, I reckon. Sure, why not? And what about an alliance? Who can we look at? We could get an alliance with a reach. I, oh, I just don't think that would occur. I know we're technically a Lannister, but we're a bastard house. She's probably maybe a distant cousin. Well, let's see if our son survives, that is. K 
Okay, we should be alright. We they got 375 uh, men hunkered down, but like I said, we should have enough to continue just picking up things here and there. They don't have the troops, which is good. Uh, we'll get 10 gold out of this and maybe uh, prisoners. That's what I'm really looking for, is just prisoners um, to give us some extra gold. Now, I did see that, which I've got to be careful of. That's 670 men. Okay, strategical impasse. Um, well, we're definitely going to be doing improved offensive and improved offensive, which is... That's a given. Okay, I'm a little bit worried about this army, but they I think they've just sailed off. Which is okay. And like I said, this is just where we're going to be looking at picking up the scraps, unfortunately. Because that's all we can do. Uh... No point we real oh, like we might be able to pick up somebody from there. So like I said, we will be picking up all these small little places as well. So we're just gonna go a little bit faster. Not much we can really do. Uh who are you? My maester. Why? What did you do wrong? Failed to treat kin. Ooh, is that is that illegal? I think I'll just give him a pardon? That seems a little bit weak. Okay, excellent. We got 10 gold out of that. That's okay. We'll move down to Trembley and we'll pick up this little uh, county here. Okay, we got a hook. Hmm, coward. Oh, okay. Oh, he's gonna. Ex okay, it's gonna expire. That's okay. I'm not too worried about the hook. We really can't do anything with that. Oh, we've become friends. How nice. Got better things to worry about than becoming friends. Uh, no, because he's just gonna offer. He's just gonna change it or do something else. I'd rather him lower the taxes, then I can just probably increase the taxes once he dies. Because he's not a major. Uh, what's gonna say? He's not a major. Um, do 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 do. Uh, vassal. So, like I said, I'm not too worried about that. Okay, we did pick up this gentleman here. And we will... I think we'll just hold on to him. Because definitely not going to... Yeah, can't ransom. Maybe I have to get a hook. We'll get a hook on him, actually. And let's move on over to the next province. Okay. And our wife is pregnant again. Whoops. Okay, excellent. Um, the war has come to an end, which is really, really good. Uh, oh, there's a burial site. I was wondering what it was. There's burial sites everywhere. Um, so yeah, we won the war, led by King Tywin, the Golden Lion of the Westerlands, against King Robert, the Braver of the Stormlands. So, what did we gain? Um, probably nothing, which is a bit disappointing. And we might as well just disband that army because there's no point capturing it anymore. So, as you guys can see... Ooh, what is going on there? It's a Liberty War, fair enough. Yes, everyone and each of them have declared themselves their own king. Wait, who are you? Benjin. No, I want... Ah, no... Okay. Oh, wait, Jon Snow? Okay, fair enough, okay. Stormlands, he owns that, that's okay. Uh, wait, what? when did Queen Nanu... Rainies? Oh, that is right, yes. He took over, and he kept them around. I was like, wait, what the hell are they doing there? Well, the Targaryens are still around, you never know, something might occur of them. So they're technically uh, in their own kingdom. How bizarre. And, yeah, okay. Well, that's over and done with. Gods be good. Excellent. Uh, well, you know what we need to do then? We need to refresh. Uh, okay, we can't do that. Can we do it this way? Negotiate. No, no, I don't want to do that then. Decisions. Activities? I want to bow before our new king. Our half-brother. Does that make us a prince? No, probably not. Uh, I suppose that sucks. 
Anyway, I would have liked to pay our respects, but that's not going to happen. I can claim my leisure's title, but what I can probably do is... Hmm, look at declaring independence. I think that's what we're going to do. So, they got 2,330 troops. Well, we don't have a large number of troops. We could, we've got enough, especially with our allies. So this will make us independent. We will uh, get the uh, take the prestige hit. Like I said, we got plenty of troops. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to call in our allies as well. Uh, and hopefully try and make ourselves into a bit of a better position before this alliance falls through because of him passing away. Now, like I said, we do have plenty of troops, which is okay. Uh, we're helping rebuild that, which is okay as well. And that also means we can probably start giving out a bit of land at the same time. So he's agreed to the war. That's okay. Uh, I'm going to raise our forces. And see if we can get into a good position. So along here is not too bad. Okay, so that gives us 30. That gives us 32. Because that's not too bad, actually. Okay, we're going to pull back. Now, I don't have enough troops, but what we can do is pretty much... They're going to evade us because they don't have enough troops to take, which is good. Which will give us enough time for our allies to rock up. Unless they somehow try and come in from a different direction. I have no idea what they're doing. Ooh. Great. Defending a hill. More soldiers. That's okay. We won't win, but I'm hoping... Yeah, they're on their way now. They got... 9,000 troops. They should be able to crush um, these guys. And like I said, I'm just trying to reduce the number of their troops. Like I said, it's not about winning. It's about trying to kill as many of them as we can. So unfortunately, it is going to be a loss. But I think it's going to be a smart loss. Now, we, this is where we're going to suffer uh, our attrition, which is bad. Unfortunately, he was captured. You twit. That's okay. So, what did we lose? We lost 446. They only lost 170. Is that all Ds? I thought it was going to be a little bit better than that. Okay. Uh, you going to the Barrio Lands, please? Okay. Because that's all I'm trying to do is slow down uh, their sieging time. Like, yes, they got to probably siege a couple of them before they win the war. But, like I said, at the end of the day, it's about slowing them down. Oh, another sun. Okay, uh... Sure, my maester can actually... Do that, and... We could probably make an alliance, but I think we're going to hold off. Okay, we're going to go unlock a man's home. That gives us another plus five if we decide to attack back. Which we may do. That will give us... Oh, I thought it would automatically do that for us. Okay, that's okay. Our reinforcements here, so we're just going to hold out at the city of Grinoy Port. Actually, let's move up to Taipei Call. And once we're there, we're going to lock in with these guys and we're going to be able to crush them. We're just going to keep pushing them back. There we go. Excellent. So we should be able to win this battle quite easily now. We are about to reinforce. That's okay. And they got crossbow. So these guys don't actually have any men at arms, which I was a little surprised about. We may capture him. I don't think we will. But that's okay. We're going to continue moving on. We are going to break off the army, and we're going to start looking at getting some easy targets. Actually, you know what? Let's just take the, the main fort. What I would really love to do is, in the future, I don't know if it's possible to mod, but because we're fighting him, he's called his vassals into it. If you take, say, him out, he should be forced to leave the war somehow. I, I don't know how you'd go about doing that, but I think that would be a really cool idea. Like, maybe not in this, because 
most of the tropes are kind of himself, but if there's multiple allies, so if somehow he captures the high tower, he should be able to be able to force them to pretty much surrender their part of the battle. Okay, so this is going to be where it's going to be a pain in the butt. We got seven months, they got 15 months. We got us, we got siege equipment. Uh, we are going to lose the squirrel. I'm going to take the gold. We're in the middle of a war, you know, don't have time to worry about squirrels and all that stuff. But the other reason is because I'm still a bit iffy about um, that event that caused the game to pretty much soft lock. I just couldn't get rid of the, the pop-up. I'm sure there's a way around it. So it's pretty much like this, but I couldn't click on it. Just wouldn't allow me. Uh, Linster, who the hell are you? I'm assuming you're my rival. Yes, you died. Okay, that's fine of consumption. Now, hopefully we can pick up some decent personnel from this. Uh, or at least get a good portion out of this. Okay, links in a chain. Tywin is a quiet child. Uh, he prefers the company of bookkeepers and the maester than that of squires and knights. He'd rather spend the evening in his room. He wants to join. Okay, you want to join the Citadel? Hmm. Well, I'll, who would be our heir? Okay. Um, you know what? That actually is quite good because he's got a bit of a better stat as well. But at the same time, I don't know. Um, because we you know what we are. I think we would. I know we're ruthless. We got plenty of sons. We got another three sons after that. So, I don't think we would mind. Uh, we're compassionate. Um, I don't think Tywin would, but I do think Kevin wouldn't mind. No, he's dead. So, I think we're going to accept it. I really will. Okay, so we're going to say yes. I'm happy to do that. If that's what you want to do, son, you can become a ma wait. You're a maester at age 11. That's uh, very interesting. Uh, okay, we're 51 percent. Who are you being trained by, myself? And I want to. Mm, are you training anyone? I do have a couple of sons. Okay. You know what? He can... Yes. Very well. You can train my... Cool. There's no... Uh... Sure. You can... You can raise... Uh... My child there. Okay. And we will do the same. We will take back him. Because he was helping us out. Uh... You know what? You, you can take my daughter. I think my daughter would be quite nice going down there as well. Sure. Okay. Now, we have won that uh, siege as well, so we're going to come down here and take out this army, hopefully once and for all. Uh, combat underscore minor road underscore kills. Uh, you've caught, joined another alliance. That's okay. You can forge as many alliances as you want. Now, we will win this. Because if I want to, I can just arrange my own. Oh, hostage. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I can just go literally alliance power. And find an alliance. Oh, wait, what the hell? Damn. Wait. Lord Willis, you've had 11 kids. Oh, this poor woman. She's about to have another one. And now this is why um is completely bugged out. Because that's insane. He can forge... Wow, okay. I think we're going to wait until after this battle before we start forging our own alliances. It's... And our wife is pregnant again. So yeah, so this is where it's kind of bugged. Um, where the pregnancies have been increased seriously to a point where it's just silly. We're going to try and take out this settlement here now. That should hopefully give us enough points to pretty much end it all over. Okay, uh, four years, that's okay. So the 
Oh, we do have Siege. Okay, that's fair enough. Yeah, we, okay, cool. I was wondering why we were sieging them down so quickly. It's because we got... Well, we don't have trebuchets, but... Oh, come on. Wait. That's okay. We're still going to win this anyway. I wish he'd hang back and just... Uh, yep, thank you very much. Thank you. 23 days. That's okay. I'll take this. Who? Pole over there has joined my court. Okay, fair enough. Okay. This should hopefully finish it off once and for all. Uh, we're going to sell the dog. Okay. Battle is pretty much all over. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's take Highview. I think if we take Highview, that should end it over once and for all. Yeah. Okay. So we've had another daughter. Unfortunately, she is sickly. That's okay. So, while looking for alliances, I think I'm going to go within here. What about making an alliance? Uh, sure, why not? Our youngest son and Quinton. So, uh, Ty uh, Tywin. Tyrion's youngest son. So, our youngest daughter, I should say, and Tyrion's youngest son would make a quite a good match. Or do we look at his heir? Who is your heir? You are. Okay, I think we do that instead. Sure. We make an alliance with the future king of the Westerlands. I think that would be a very smart and political move. Okay, it's pretty much all over. Excellent. We're going to... Demand your surrender. Thank you very much. And excellent. We're going to disband. And we have a new leech. Which means I'm hoping we can usurp. But we need 250 gold. Okay. That's okay. Uh, petition a leech. What can we petition? Council appointments. Ooh. I'm not really interested in a... What about popular opinion in the area? No, control I would like. But I think I'm going to skip that. Okay, we're going to petition for a council appointment and hopefully get something half decent. We're going to start heading down and see what our half-brother says. Hopefully he likes us enough that he will uh, accept. Popular opinion, excellent castle rockets, local saints, but that's not going to affect us. Okay, uh... We made it, but at the same time, we didn't make it. 20 gold. Okay, well, we're going to be fighting this. So, we get 10 gold, and we're pretty much able to pass through. Unscathed. Excellent, we beat the bandits back. He points me Marshall. He gets a weak hook on me. Ooh, um, I can't be removed for five years. Okay, sure, a fair offer. I accept. So he gets a weak hook on us, and we became become the marshal for the next five years. We kind of pissed off him as well. Hmm, an architect. Uh, sorry, architect. You say I'll take one of those drawings. Uh, learning and city building. Sure, I'll take it. Did cost us 20 gold. We're just going to probably turn around and sell it for an extra 20 gold. Westerman account of the 1006 supernova. Uh, no. I think this is a bit before our time. Okay. And like I said, we're just waiting on the 250 gold. So that's going to be our next aim at the moment is to get that gold. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. There's not much else we can really do. We're just going to sell it and try and get ourselves a bit of money. Ooh. We got one. Okay, and we'll just allow you to be banished, sure. Excellent. So we're pretty close. We're 40 gold away. Um, let us go... Hmm. Endure a hardship. We're going to finish this one off, and then we may look at stewardship, I think. So anyway, thank you very much for staying tuned this far. If you guys enjoyed this episode, if you guys know what to do, hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. 
and I'll see you guys in the next episode. So till then, bye.